again. Bought myself a new knife the other day. Not because I needed one. It's just uh, I saw it and I thought, I love it. While well, it's still perfectly legal for me to buy it and own it. The only thing is, if you uh, get caught out and about with it, for no reason, you get done for having an offensive weapon. And you can see why. You can't even, uh, they even call it a six inch dagger. So that by definition is a weapon. So don't buy one of these and think you're going to carry it around for self defence with the uh, clamp down on knife laws these days. You're just going to get in a load of trouble. Loads of things you can carry if you want to that are perfectly legal. Might have to do another video on that. Um, first of all, let's have a look at this sheath. It's a popper on it, made of high quality nylon. That ain't going to come out of there at all. Got a nice big belt loop on there, wide enough for um, a webbing belt if you're uh, in the military or whatever. It comes so closely. We'll have a look at it. Obviously, um, it's a uh, titanium coated, or titanium oxide. It's Buffalo River on there. It's half serrated. That's in case if your knife gets blunt, you can still cut things with it. The handle is uh, 5 inches of handle, so it's 11 inches overall. Um, my hands are sort of normal size, average size, you can either fit like that, and it's also got uh, a bit there so you can, f for fine work or whatever. On this side, you can see that, it's got a, a, a small fuller in there, which um, is actually or like a blood groove on a bay in it so probably what it is they call it a dagger but i call it a clip point bowie myself um when we were kids we used to walk around with knives like these nobody ever bothered nobody got stabbed closest we ever come to stabbing somebody was when we played splits anyway um the first thing i wanted to do was find out how far in the tang went so to do that I've got a very small but powerful magnet. Get rid of the sheath. You, know, look, you can see it holds the weight of the knife. I'll hold it there. So, that's on there. 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 It's quite a thick coating of rubber because it's not sticking to it really bad, but all the way around. You got a lanyard hole there. So it doesn't stick there so sort of where the rubber is thicker which makes me which makes me pleased because uh, there's nothing in the rubber to make it magnetic. So the t it's a full tang knife which is quite good. It's quite thin, thin blade. A false edge on this end on the clip point. Not sharpened. This is really sharp, and so is that. I did I hacked this out of the hedge with it earlier. It took a while because it's, it's quite light, it's not really a chopper. Um don't know what sort of wood this is, I think it might be hornbeam, it's very, very hard. A pair of secateurs, you can see this. I'll try and cut up with a pair of secateurs. You have to nibble at it where it's so hard. But with a knife, so I'll do it without cutting myself. Can't complain about that, although it's, it's quite light, it's not really a chopper. In fact, I'm wondering if it's light enough for the, for the handle to give it some buoyancy if you dropped it in the river or whatever. So, to do that, I've got a bucket of water there. I'm worried about this. I think I'm going to make a longbow out of this. I'll take it home. 
can stick it up by the chimney, which will please my wife no end, no doubt. Let it dry out over the winter, and then using this, I carved this down to her longbow. Maybe that'll be another video next year in the spring somewhere. Just drop that down. Bucket of water. And it sinks. So, if you're on a river, or uh, next to a river, use a landlord, land yard hole. Buffalo River, six inch dagger. Thanks for watching. If you want to see my new videos, you just need to subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything, it just means you get them before anybody else. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.